Orange warning flags posted every few feet, no trucks or buses signs, and plenty of signage telling drivers that this piece of long grove history has an eight foot, six inch clearance. Yet, some just don't get it. It just keeps happening. We're not really sure why. What keeps happening are vehicles crashing into Long Grove's historic covered bridge. The latest was last Friday when a U-Haul got stuck. It was the 14th time the bridge was hit since it reopened last August after being closed for over two years. It took that long to repair it from a previous crash. Luckily, we have the problem solved where we don't have to expend a lot of money rebuilding the bridge every time. The bridge was rebuilt with steel reinforcements, so now it's the vehicle that takes the brunt of the damage rather than the bridge. And while nearby businesses are perplexed at the number of crashes, owners admit the publicity does give them a bit of a boost. It's a spectacle that brings people into town. I had a great day on Sunday, you know, day after the bridge. <laughs> and the local brewery is getting some mileage out of it. Buffalo Creek Brewing has named beers after previous crashes. For the latest one, the business is holding a contest on its Facebook page. My personal favorite, low clearance with an 8.6 alcohol percentage. In the ongoing battle of vehicle versus bridge, Long Grove officials believe GPS systems looking for the shortest route may be responsible for navigating drivers through the bridge. Friday's U-Haul driver told police he was following his GPS and didn't see the signs. And while it's likely to happen again, business owners are confident their iconic landmark is here to stay. I think we're going to win this battle. <laughs> I really do. In Long Grove, Sarah Schulte, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.